Join me. Well, I'm. Oh, my roommate told me to make a video, just practicing, just to get used to talking, and of course, Brockett and Emily. Oh, and of course, showing you how I play May, or how I practice with the characters to get ice, shield, wall, and of course, reload and spray. Just get the feel of it. I don't necessarily, when I come to train, I don't necessarily try to hit targets. Mostly just get the feel of just for May, it's like two seconds. So it's like one, two, shoot. So in that timing, I have to pretty much know where the enemy's going to be. So I just get the feel of it, keep remembering that it's two seconds, counting, jump around and some of that just to get used to the movements. Sometimes when I play games, you'll see me do this, which is just me trying to get the feel of the speed I have it at. So I just jump around, stuff like that. Constantly, you'll see me constantly reload and stuff like that. And after a few times of that, and then I'll go in and actually start hitting the characters, blah blah blah. I don't usually mostly use Mei for like defense. I also use her as offense because her ice is pretty good if you know how to hit enemies with it. So a lot of times I. With May, I actually use a backdoor method where I'll go sneak behind the character, freeze them, shoot them, and then punch them if they're not dead yet or something like that. Mostly if they have like a bastion or something like that. Reinhardt, of course, I'll jump, jump behind his shield and start spraying him down, chasing him around until he's frozen, so the enemy, all our teammates, can get him. And then of course I learned the other moves after I jump around and practice just to get the feel of her shooting. And stuff like that, I'll constantly practice her, her moves, see how long they take, and stuff like that, of course, with, uh, there's like a delay when you're actually using them, so like, uh, people can still get you, like, maybe like a second delay, and of course, her wall, I don't also necessarily use a wall to always block, block, sometimes I'll use it to help me get up, or like, if I'm trying to defend the payload and I'm by myself, this is a good way to jump on the keep myself on the payload, keep myself busy, then once that's done, I'll freeze myself. And then, bam, my thing's up, but again, keep alive long enough till my teammates get back, stuff like that. So, a lot of times I do spray people, but I mostly you'll see me shooting with, when it comes to me. And then, of course, punching and stuff like that. I also get a feel of like breaking down pretty much, which that I didn't know about until because I never really pull her wall down, always kept it up. But it's also good to know to have pretty much you could do that in case like you accidentally block one of your teammates off, you quickly oh pull it down. And mostly just understand the character and know how you play her and stuff like that, or any other character. A lot of times people go by the textbook way, they see other people play and they just play that character just like that. Spray, yeah. Then shoot, or punch and spray, then get real close to the character. Uh, and then get a nice that and kill the character. Which is the textbook way how you play May. Which is not bad, it works sometimes and some of that, but when you get a character, you want to make sure you put your own self into the character, like how you play and stuff like that, and pretty much try different things. Like, I'm um, not sure it's gonna work, just toss it to the air, see what happens. It's probably gonna miss, probably gonna swear, whatever. Like, it's practice, so, see? And you never know. That's a couple of seconds delayed, characters are running, trying to get away from her ult. They don't see it coming, so they'll gather right back in the circle and bam, they get hit. So just try different things and stuff like that with whatever character you have. I'm sure with Soldier, you're not going to use your ult like this. Kind of weird. But, eh. Like I said, this practice is just get me comfortable with talking online and my voice and stuff like that. And when you're using a character, no matter what you're using, a lot of times people are like, oh, we need two tanks, two healers, and stuff like that. Mostly it's just, you need a really great communication with your teammates. It's important. If you don't have a mic or anything like that, just if your teammates say hello, is anyone hear me? Just say, just say understood, thanks, or something like that. 
so let them know that you do hear them and so they can say hey can you do this or do this uh, can you shoot that person different things like that and it's also good to know the range so how far you can shoot with your characters but yeah I could think of at the top of the moment I guess also practice shooting while jumping because a lot of times characters are gonna chase you down stuff like that don't always jump in the same direction like what you could do is you jump and then forward and pull back it slows you down so most time people are timing pretty much your movements like when I go against tracers they have like the three things where they zip three times and then they'll teleport back and it takes five seconds for where she was for five seconds she'll end up right back where she was in that five seconds so as soon as I fight a tracer I know how to start counting technically she'll probably in five seconds she will should be right here so when she teleports back I'll shoot her and so you don't want to get into the feel of being predictable so when you jump around you, they know if you're low health you're gonna probably try to jump this way they're gonna try to shoot you so make it random so you jump and pull back jump or pull back stuff like that do weird random jumps and stuff like that quickly just to get try to not to be so predictable and stuff like that and that's why I say it's good to know your character so you won't be predictable when you play because I've seen really good tracers really good tracers and stuff like that where they weren't predictable where I would try to time them and then bam they would do something where I wouldn't expect someone to do because most time people have played tracers as of course textbook tracer zip 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 teleport or zip zip round shoot they'll zip around shoot and when you're zipping, they'll reload their gun and stuff like that. Typical. And like I said, that's about it. Sorry about that. Guess I should say my name. Dominic Staples. Uh, play Overwatch. Smite. Uh, don't play uh, League of Legends that much, but I do play every now and then. I do prefer Smite, which is enjoyable. Oh, and when you play, and then of course you want someone to change, don't act so nicely. Don't, oh, we need, we need this. Oh, you slow, you're stupid. Because typically humans. If you constantly tell them, hey, change, or you slow, you stupid, they're going to be like, no, I'm going to prove you wrong, I'm going to stay this character, and blah, 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 I'm going to show you that I'm the best, and stuff like that. So just kindly ask them. And if they don't change, if you know we need it, then you change. Typically, I don't always play Mei. If uh, no one else wants to change their healer, I'll change their healer. I'm not really good with tanks, and stuff like that. I'm okay with Zarya, uh, terrible with names, Zarya, and stuff like that. Um, Zarya, but I'm not best. I understand that. But I would change and stuff like that. Would and stuff like that. But don't harass them and stuff like that. Or they're playing, they're not doing as well. You suck. You suck. And then start punching your own teammates and stuff like that. That's just pointless. Because you're actually distracting yourself from playing the best you can. And it's hindering it. Both of you are hindering the team. Do that. So, yeah, that's about it. Don't know what else to say. Just rambling to get used to talking, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's. That's about it. Those so oh, and I'm done. I guess thanks for watching if you watch to the end. If you're not, it's okay too. Leave a comment saying, oh, your voice is great or your voice sucks. Don't you know, whatever you want to say. Um, and have a great day.